Hey guys, my name is Daryl. My friends call me Dago and I'm a year 3 computer science student studying in the National University of Singapore. Now, in the past few months, I've taken quite a bit of interest into entrepreneurship. The whole idea of being able to build a platform for yourself, something that you can be proud of, felt very appealing to me. At the same time, I've also come to learn a bit about personal finance. I recently finished up a book about investing and I've been reading up on how to use my money wisely when I start to earn a living in the future. Heck, I'm even learning financial advisor stuff right now, mostly for my own personal knowledge. So, with all these things that I was pursuing, I felt that I had to transition my mindset and habits, or at least familiarize with the lifestyle of a student entrepreneur and financial advisor. To get inspiration, I went to the most informative platform I could find, which was brimming with budding young entrepreneurs and financial advisors my age, Instagram. I then meticulously studied what I had to do throughout the day to be like them, and I think I was able to convert successfully. This is the day in the life of a student entrepreneur and financial advisor in Singapore. The alarm rings. Oh wait, excuse me. <clears throat> the alarm rings. I love that sound. I wake up at 4am so that I can get a head start for the day ahead. From the moment I wake up, I hold the power pose because it brings me confidence and strength and places me in a concentrated state of mind throughout the day. After going through my morning wash-up routine, I start to meditate. During this meditation, I always think to myself, what is my ikigai? What is my reason for being? And I always come back to this. I'm a winner. After that, I go for a 5 hour HIIT and 50km run because to keep up with my image and brand, that means I have to be healthy. I hate running. I run because I'm a winner. When I'm done with my run, I go for a shower in cold water because it stimulates my thinking in the morning and is a great booster for when I get tired. It's hard not to be tired after a run because I hate running. That's why even though I'm tired, I'm not because I'm a winner. I then get my morning coffee before reading my favourite book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I've already read this book over a thousand times, but I still do it anyway, because I'm a winner. And finally, my day has started. When I go for lessons, I ensure that I am fully focused so that I can internalize as much information as possible. Lessons can be brutal at times, but I make sure I stay attentive and awake by doing power pose exercises throughout the seminar. During lunch, I make sure that I multitask at my fullest capability because time is money. I usually do tedious tasks like content creation during this period. In addition, I do all of this while replying emails as well as having a Zoom call with my friends to talk about hustling. Also, I try as much as possible to engage with my audience as well as expand my network. Like what I saw on another FA's Instagram story, your network is your net worth. Post lunch, I usually go for a quick gym session. Going to the gym means health. Health is wealth. I want wealth. I am wealth. After that, I go for my business investment seminar held by the 104th top entrepreneur in Singapore and I get inspired. Being a student entrepreneur and financial advisor, I have a lot of students coming to me for advice and usually I try to accommodate them with a quick Zoom session. At the end of a productive session of adulting, I don't forget to take a selfie of myself with my fellow students to show people that I am proud of them for hustling with me. 
At the end of a tough day of hustling, it's good to unwind and relax. Some people like to unwind by going for a drink with friends or watching some Netflix. At this point, I usually have my daily impromptu dinner with some friends at a hot pot place like Beauty in the Pot or Hai Di Lao. When I get back home, I like to reflect on what I've achieved throughout the day and think over a glass of red wine. To be honest, it's very tiring maintaining this level of motivation each day, 24-7, 365 days a year. I don't even like hustling because I have to wear this hot ass outfit all the time. But I hustle anyway. Because of my friends and family. Because I want to spread the knowledge of financial literacy. Because I want to make a difference to the people around me. And lastly, because I'm a winner. Thanks for watching guys and please leave a sub if you liked it. I hope I didn't make you guys cringe too hard. Now I know it may seem that I'm kind of trashing on these student entrepreneurs and financial advisors but contrary to what you may think, I actually really admire and respect the work ethic that some of these people have. Honestly, just a few days back, I did two of these FA examinations and I failed both papers. Pro tip, don't study for two papers two days before the actual examinations. Okay, granted, although some of these financial advisors, aka insurance agents, have some questionable tactics, I do believe that a bulk of them genuinely come from a place from wanting to help. Some people just know nothing about financial literacy and they brush away these advisors with a simple excuse like, oh, money is not important to me. It's okay for money not to matter, but it sort of governs our world. <laughs> so it's good to at least know the knowledge. What I'm saying is, in school, they might have this negative stigma of being that everyday hustle, a bit of a try hard. But the bottom line is that a bunch of them are really just working hard in something that they believe in. Some of them really just want to spread that financial knowledge to you. Well, unless you're some random secondary school schoolmate that I friended on Facebook 10 years ago that I haven't talked to since like forever and decides to call message me out of nowhere looking to catch up. In that case, my answer is no and you can go to hell. <laughs> Stay woke fellow DJs.